Russia just fired a missile no other country has ever tested, one that doesn't care about fuel, distance, or even sanity. Its concept is terrifying, a nuclear-powered engine with unlimited range, able to fly for days, circle the planet, and strike from any direction, whenever Putin feels pleased. Western analysts described it as impossible in early stages and later terrifying. They call it the Burvisnik, the world's first nuclear-powered cruise missile, still officially under development, but already rewriting the rules of warfare. Kremlin released footage and statements, declaring the tests of Burvisnik complete and ordering deployment steps. General Valery Gerasimov, Chief of General Staff stated the missile flew about 15 hours and covered 14,000 kilometers, not the maximum range. So what makes this missile so special? Russia says its Burvisnik missile runs on a small nuclear reactor instead of regular fuel. If that's true, it could fly for many days, move unpredictably in the air, and hit any target in the world. But experts say that's only a theory. Making such a small and safe reactor is extremely hard, past tests have had problems. Experts treat the program as dangerous and destabilizing. Yes, it can exist, but right now, it's more of a terrifying experiment than a working weapon. And it hasn't been proven or demonstrated yet. Russia claims the Burvisnik has unlimited range but Western analysts note that this simply means it hasn't been independently demonstrated, far from infinite, there's no public proof the missile can sustain such flights. Still, it's what the missile does during that flight that really worries the West. Once airborne, the missile is designed to fly extremely low, about 50 to 100 meters above the ground, constantly weaving and shifting direction to evade radar. That makes it extremely difficult for traditional missile defenses to track or intercept. Not impossible, but a nightmare. In short, the Burvisnik is half missile, half science experiment, and pure intimidation. So yes, the West has the money, the tech giants, the sanctions. The Burvisnik has had a messy past. Since 2016, Russia has reportedly conducted more than a dozen tests, most of them failed or only partly succeeded. And in 2019, during one test near Ninoxa, there was a massive explosion. Seven scientists died, radiation levels spiked, and locals were told to evacuate. At first, the defense ministry said it was just a liquid fuel accident. Two days later, Rosatom admitted it was a nuclear-powered missile test gone wrong. That's when the world nicknamed it the Flying Chernobyl. But let's be real, this isn't just about military power. It's about messaging. Russia just reminded everyone, it still has the audacity. Putin wants the West to believe he's untouchable. The US has advanced missile defenses, but Burvisnik's unpredictable flight path makes interception extremely hard. Though not publicly verified, defense experts believe Russia may already have prototype missiles stored or tested in Arctic facilities, where much of its nuclear research is kept under extreme secrecy. No one outside the Kremlin knows exactly how advanced they are, and that's precisely the point. If those prototypes exist, the Burvisnik isn't just another missile project. It's a message that Russia could one day deploy a nuclear-powered weapon with no flight limits, capable of weaving around radar and striking from anywhere. A flying reactor in the sky even one test gone wrong could scatter radioactive debris, as seen in Russia's 2019 Arctic explosion linked to this very program. So, is Burvisnik a real superweapon, or just a radioactive showpiece? Right now, it's both, a scientific gamble and a geopolitical statement. But one thing's clear, Putin's latest move just reminded the world that when he says, Russia is ready, it's not just talk. And somewhere in Moscow, he's probably laughing at the West's confusion. But that's Putin's playbook, fear is strategy. Because as long as the West stays uncertain, even paranoid, Russia stays powerful. So even if the missile isn't ready for combat, the message is, Russia can still scare you. It's psychological warfare, and Putin knows exactly what he's doing, 